Morning guys, welcome to the video. I'm Brandon and this is Shore Fishing UK. Today we're fishing the same mark I was two days ago for the same fish which is place. Last time I was here I saw 12 come up. Um, I'm not targeting for numbers today, hopefully get something bigger than what I've previously had, so targeting a PB place. Although they are coming up a little bit skinny at the moment, there's still every opportunity, a nice one will come up. So enjoy the video guys, hopefully it's a good one. He's gonna drop next to it. You'll get him up, you'll get him up about the drop that mate. Yeah. Yeah, do you, do you want me to do it for you? But put the rod tip all the way down. That's it, now swing him round. Swing up. It's a really aggressive one. You can tell by the bite, and it won't open his mouth either. Well angry. There you go. Just a little one. Not very really good, mate. Look, Ricky, are you using a one up, one down? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's a uh, uh, normal rig, that one.
very productive. I've had a few, but nothing compared to the other day. I'm getting quite a few crabs up. Just trying to feed him, make sure he's still there. What I don't want to do is find good good ground and they're on. Pull my bait away from them before. Quite a small one, guys. So I am going to put him back. It's not worth taking that and killing it. There's not enough meat on it. But because I got him early, did get a good, good hook up, nice and easy to get that out and chuck him back. This is easier than. guys that. that's how you want to release them nose down nose down if you can it's a bit difficult when it's windy because sometimes they flip around and what you don't want is that bang puts them in shock um, and sometimes they, they don't swing back down but that bait looks fine I don't know bait looks fine so I'm going to get that straight back out So guys, I'm on about 
it's like my third or fourth week of owning the, the Pen Battle 3 now and the two new ones that I've got and I'll say a couple of things about them so the real, the Pen Battle 3 um, long cast I've got absolutely nothing bad to say about it at all, it's amazing I'm super happy with it no faults, nothing really to complain about um, and then we've got the Leader Icon FS Sport which I bought in 15 great for casting and the bite detection on it's really good the only thing I've got to say about it, the only negative is that the real seat still slides so even at full tightness to the point where it feels like it's going to snap if you cast a bit hard enough the reel will turn and that happens quite often other than that I think it's a great rod I think I could probably pull that real seat off and put a different one on instead maybe get an Abbott one or something um, the Akios Hellraiser is great the bite detection on it is probably average for this kind of thing I think it's more for like rough rock fishing and stuff like that so we'll find out what that's really like in sort of October when, when, when we're fishing in surf because that's what that'll be used for but it's still usable even for small stuff like this and I can still see when they're there and the bite detection I say is, is still it's still good sound but it's got quite a thick tip on it so it's not like it's not like the Continental the Leader Icon FS Sport it's more for tough much much tougher stuff um, and I did order a, a Pen Conflict 2 long cast in 8000 size which I ended up sending straight back because I took it out of the box and it just felt really plasticky and horrible I wasn't happy with it it, did, it was 180 quid and it just didn't feel like a 180 pound reel so I boxed it up and sent it back it was the same price it, the uh, the pen battle was was 180 as well but that feels like I've got my money's worth I'd, I'd buy I'm probably gonna buy a second one for the Akios um, but for the meantime I'm just using the surf blasters as much as I can before upgrading another reel uh, just to save a little bit of money Freshly dug. All this one man. See a secret mark, a secret place. Somewhere in Sussex. Guys, for any of you that want to know, because obviously I've been to this mark twice now, so there's going to be two videos in a row. This is New Haven Skeleton Arm located in East Sussex, and it's a sandy mark with a little bit of shingle here and there. There's a, there's a couple of snags straight out off the end, and there's another snag straight out off the left. Now, the snags here consist of pretty much other people's gear. Um, it fishes better for place and stuff like that on the, on the, on the seafood side. Um, but on the right hand side you've got the river and there's a dredge where you can catch bass and mullet and all kinds of other things. It's a good market, it's a little bit of a walk. Uh, you've got to park up on Beach Road uh, and then walk down past, uh, past the fencing and over the bridge and stuff like that and then you end up here. About 10 minutes. So if you are going to come fish this mark, don't bring loads and loads and loads of gear because it is a good 10 minute, 10, 15 minute walk. Um, but the other option you can do if you want to give the beach a go, which sometimes what I do is I'll, I'll go to seafood, I'll walk along down to tide mills and I'll fish tide mills for a couple of hours. And if I'm not doing very well there, I'll then walk along and come on to the skeleton arm and cast into some deep water. So, but it's an awesome mark. My last trip, I had to, I had six place. Uh, there was two other people fishing and they had another six between them, so it was 12 land in total. Same again today, today. two other people fishing, um, 12 land in total, I had six, they had three each. So it's been a pretty good day guys, I haven't got anything to complain about, I'm well happy with the result. The only, the only downside was the forecast was supposed to be a lot calmer and I think if it was calmer we probably would have got in some more fish. The size for me is what I'm sort of going for at the moment, I'm not really bothered about the numbers, I, I want to get a nice big one, I want to get a PB, so I'll be down here again trying in no time, um, probably going to start doing some reef stuff soon, as soon as it goes calm, 
and then I'll be down on the surface and just trying for some early, early, early bass. You know, beginning of March, we would have to keep them, so my family will be, and I really enjoy them too. So it'd be nice to take some food home. It's been a little while since I've been able to take some of the cookie out, but obviously I've got some plates and stuff. The first trip I kept some for myself. Uh, this trip I just gave them to uh, a power mine who is also fishing on this arm today, so yeah. This could be my PB guys. This is the three pounder that I've been gagging for. Oh, it's a ginormous crab, man. It's fighting, it's definitely a good one. There he is guys, the three pounder. Another one that's probably good looks. Another one to go back. That's a fairly strong for the sizes that they are actually. One, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve, twelve items and a whole bag full of just other people's pockets here. Look, show all of this. There's no like people like people come down here with their kids and they show their kids this stuff. Look, feathers. What if a dog gets that? Or a kid or a child. It doesn't stop. Prawns, bag of prawns. How is that a bin? It's not a bin, it's a monument. That's been here for God knows how many years. There's actually a carrier bag. Look, you could have opened up that carrier bag, put your rubbish inside it and took it with you instead of doing this. Someone's tent pegs. Guys, there's only so far I can get my hands in there to pull rubbish out. I'm, I'm just taking as much as I can. But the thing is... I... I could get into that into like... I did try and run after it. Guys, that's about as much as I can get out, but I've got to walk a mile with other people's rubbish just because they can't be bothered and it's all right to stuff it in places. You're going to get, whoever's done that, on your next trip you're not going to catch decent fish because it's just bad karma. It's bad karma to do that. So, yeah, I'll clean up your rubbish for you.